far-flung rural areas in the Eastern Cape characterized by poor road infrastructure. Many villages are separated by rivers with no bridges to cross, a daily risk for school children. The new bridge, a new relief for the people of Tobosi. Many other communities have to wait much longer. Scores of infrastructure projects fail due to corruption. Corruption steals from the poor, it delays service delivery, uh, people are greedy, they don't think about the communities at large, and those corrupt ones must be put in jail. They should not be in parliament, they should not be in leadership positions. Eradicating the backlog requires billions of rands. Eastern Cape has got a huge uh, infrastructure backlog. Uh, for us to wipe out all this, if you talk about road infrastructure, you're looking at about more than 60 billion. Currently, we are working at around uh, 3 billion budget annually. That tells you, without interventions of this nature, we can't really fast track the process of eradicating this kind of a backlog. We are quite appreciative uh, uh, to this kind of uh, alternative technology that we see. Uh, the impact this bridge uh, it has made in terms of the social upliftment of people's lives here it's huge uh, the history as we have indicated uh, people have died here uh, cars were unable to cross here easily other people were gunned down in this uh, bridge the program aims to build 400 bridges nationally atule joga sabc news Nobo.